the rules of increase and decrease have further been summarized <clears throat> as below. In case there is a favorable balance and unfavorable balance as per cash book, in case of a favorable balance and unfavorable balance as per passbook. <clears throat> the same logic, it is a summary of all that we have done. However, let us come to some errors which we did not discuss before. Let us consider item 8 where there is a wrong debit in the cash book. There is a wrong debit in the cash book. Now what does this mean? When there is a wrong debit in the cash book, the cash book balance has gone up. The cash book balance, it's wrong, but the balance has gone up. If we start from the cash book to arrive at the pass book, we would subtract. We would subtract. Similarly, let's take a wrong credit in the cash book. A wrong credit in the cash book would mean more withdrawals and therefore the balance comes down. If you start from the cash book, you would add to arrive at the pass book. What happens in case there is a wrong debit in the passbook? A wrong debit in the passbook. Mind you, a debit in the passbook indicates withdrawals. A debit in the passbook indicates withdrawals. So if there is a wrong debit in the passbook, it means there is more withdrawal and the balance has come down. Passbook balance here, cash book here. If you start from the cash book, we would deduct. If you start from the cash book, we would deduct, we would subtract. Undercasting of the debit side of the bank account in the cash book. Undercasting of the debit side of the bank account in the cash book. For a change, let's do this from the passbook. If there is undercasting of the debit side, undercasting means less total, less casting. Debit side of the bank account indicates the receipt side. So the receipt side is less means the balance is less. Cash book balance less, passbook up. We said we'll consider from the passbook, from passbook to cash book, we would deduct. From passbook to cash book, we would deduct. Here we are. This is favorable balance as per passbook. Whatever we do in case of a favorable balance, we do just the reverse in case of an unfavorable balance. Overcasting of the debit side of the bank account in the cash book. Overcasting of the debit side again is the receipt side. Overcasting means more. Therefore, the cash book balance has gone up. Passbook is here. If you start from the passbook, you would add to arrive at the cash book. So if you start from the passbook, you add. Started from past. Next, undercasting of the credit side of the bank account in the cash book. Undercasting of the credit side of the bank account in the cash book. Credit side is the payment side in the cash book. Credit side is the payment side. If it's been undercasting, it means you have shown less withdrawal. If you have shown less withdrawal, the balance is more, the cash book balance is more, the passbook balance is here. If you start from cash book, you would deduct to arrive at this figure. You would deduct to arrive at this figure. And we'll do one more. Overcasting of the credit side of the bank account in the cash book. Overcasting on the credit side of the bank account. Credit side of the cash book is withdrawal. You would show more withdrawal. More withdrawal in the cash book would mean cash book balance down, pass book here. If you start from cash book to reach the pass book, you would add. This is just a table, a summary. We don't suggest that you mark these up. We suggest you stick to the logic of the transaction. The only thing is... When preparing a bank reconciliation statement, if we have an overdraft balance, 
Let us please proceed it with a minus sign and we can stick to the same logic as in case of a favorable balance. However, I repeat, if a question is asked individually where you start with an overdraft balance and they ask you specifically what is to be done in a single case, checks are deposited but not yet cleared. Whatever you do to a favorable balance, we will do just the reverse in case of an overdraft balance.